Born addiction recovery is completely misunderstood. And it's this misunderstanding, in my opinion, that keeps so many men, we're talking millions of men stuck from truly breaking free, from truly transcending this addiction and going on to become a porn free man and ultimately live the life that we are all put here to live. And when I talk about porn addiction recovery being misunderstood, I think the misunderstanding is in two areas. I think there's misunderstandings about the addiction and the behavior in and of itself. And I'm going to address those here today. And I also think the recovery approach, how we're trying to create freedom in our life is completely misunderstood. And I don't think any of this is your fault. So if you're catching this episode right now and you're thinking to myself, man, have I been misled? Have I been misguided? Why am I still stuck? Well, brother, let me tell you, it is not your fault. But after today's episode, it will become your responsibility to take back control of your life. Create the freedom that you ultimately desire and deserve and become the man that no longer wants, needs, or desires porn in his life. And that, my brother, is the recipe for truly breaking this addiction, is becoming the man that no longer truly wants, needs, or desires this within his life. Before we get too deep, though, in today's episode, let me take a quick reminder, tell you guys who we are, who we are, and what it is we're doing here. My name is Coach Frank Rich, founder of Rebuilt Recovery and host of the Rebuilt Man podcast. And it is our mission to help men become better men by quitting porn and rebuilding their lives. So if you're new to the podcast here, if you're listening on the audio side, take a moment after today's episode, hit that subscribe button, leave us a rating, leave us a review. And if you're watching there on YouTube, there's a button down there in the bottom left-hand or right-hand corner of the video. Hit that button, turn those notifications on so you are notified every single time a new episode and video is released. But let's talk about some of the misunderstandings around the addiction in and of itself. I think the biggest one that, that men struggle with is thinking that their struggles and their behavior and use and consumption of pornography is rooted in a sexual drive. I got to watch porn because I have a high sex drive and my wife doesn't want to have sex with me enough. I got to watch porn because I'm a young man and I'm struggling with sexual frustrations. It has been our understanding and it is through working with thousands of men, talking with thousands of men over the last five years. Now, nothing about our compulsive use with pornography is rooted in sexual behavior. If you could stop right now and ask yourself, when are the times that I act out? The last five times I consumed pornography, what were the environments? What were the scenarios? What were the mental states? What were the emotional states? What were the mindsets that I was in? Without even knowing you, I can tell you that you were probably tired, frustrated, lonely, anxious, stressed out, insecure. Those are not states where we're thinking about having sex. Those are uncomfortable states in our minds. Those are uncomfortable states in our bodies that cause tension. And what's happened is because, I can also probably tell you that you were introduced to pornography at a very young age, because at a very young age, you learn to regulate your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and nervous system with pornography, that when you are in those states of anxiousness, of stressfulness, of tiredness, of loneliness, of feeling overwhelmed, when you get into those states, because at a young age, you started to develop the habits and routines that the way to alleviate those feelings and emotions was through a release with pornography, now as a grown man, when you get yourself in those same states of mind, anxiousness, tiredness, stressfulness, loneliness, overwhelm, instead of confronting the scenario and saying, hey, why am I anxious? What is it that needs to happen right now? Why am I stressed? What in life right now is causing me to feel this way? Why do I feel overwhelmed? What bit of my work do I need to chunk down and begin to make some steps forward? Because you lack the inability to regulate your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and nervous system, pornography and masturbation has become the only tool that you have. So see if we can understand that our use in pornography has nothing to do with our sexual drive. If we can understand that the, the act of consuming pornography is not a sexual act, 
Now, are you watching other people have sex? That's what porn is, right? But it's not an act that you're engaging in of sex and intimacy. You use the stimuli, you use the pornography to get you to the point of release because it's in that release that you feel calm for a short moment. So what we must understand here and the misunderstanding around this is that the reason why we struggle is because we lack certain tools. We lack the tools and skill sets to regulate our thoughts, feelings, emotions, and nervous system in real time. And that leads us to the misunderstanding of getting free. You see, getting free from a porn addiction is not about quitting pornography. You see, overcoming this compulsive behavior is not about creating a life where you prevent yourself from looking at porn. If we understand that we lack skill sets and tools, then the pathway to freedom is the development of the skill sets and tools. And it's in the development of the skill sets and tools to regulate your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and nervous system that you realize that there's much healthier outlets. There are more better ways that when you're in the feeling of anxiousness, tiredness, loneliness, frustration, avoidance, overwhelm, there are much better ways to deal with those situations. And it's in learning to healthily deal with those situations that you realize, hey, all these things that felt overwhelming to me were not that big of a deal. And this is also a misunderstanding that a porn-free life is going to be one that's stress-free, tired-free, obstacle-free, struggle-free, worry-free. You see, when I hear men say, I'm trying to quit porn, I can tell you that that is a guy that doesn't understand either one of these concepts. And that is a guy that if he doesn't get into the proper framework and he doesn't get into a program that's designed to help him build the necessary tools, he will struggle with managing this behavior for the rest of his life. And this is the biggest problem I have with us saying that we are powerlessness to any addiction or giving ourselves the identity of an addict. Should we recognize that we're struggling with something early on? 100% because without knowing where you are, you can never get a clear path moving forward. But we got to change our mindset. We got to change our belief system. We have to begin to see ourselves no longer as an addict and begin to walk in the identity of a porn free man and think about, okay, when a porn free man is stressed, what does he do? Begin to do those things. When a porn free man is anxious, what does he do? Okay. Begin to do those things. When a porn free man is feeling overwhelmed, what does he do? And begin to do those things. When a porn free man is feeling alone and isolated, what does he do? And we begin to do those things. See, it's my opinion that that and only that will create a life of pure and 100% freedom. I'm talking about the freedom where it doesn't matter what happens to you. Porn is no longer an option. You see, that way of thinking, that way of living, that freedom is so much more peaceful and rewarding and free than for the rest of your life worrying about managing a trigger, dealing with an urge, avoiding looking at porn. If I had to wake up every single day and think about all the stressors and triggers and urges that I was going to have to manage, that would become my life. And I wouldn't be able to do any of the things that I've been able to accomplish in the last five years, creating two top ranked podcasts in the world, creating multiple courses that have helped thousands of men helping other business owners and entrepreneurs scale their companies and businesses to 20, 30, 40, 50 K and beyond per month. I wouldn't have built a movement of men that reaches close to a hundred thousand people every single month. And I wouldn't be recognized as the world's number one porn addiction recovery coach. If every day, all I was thinking about was how do I manage it urges? How do I deal with triggers? How do I not allow myself to put myself into the triggering and vulnerable situations? Now, early on, doing some of that work is going to be crucial because you haven't developed 
all the skill sets and tool sets needed. But once you have a better way to regulate your thoughts, regulate your feelings, regulate your emotions, regulate your nervous system, as life gets thrown at to you, then you don't have to worry about the vulnerable situations anymore. Because there's not a vulnerable situation in the world that would prompt me and tempt me to returning back to porn. And that's what we have to understand. Is this is not about quitting porn. This is about becoming the man that no longer wants, needs, or desires it in his life. And that man holds a belief system and a mindset that he can be free. And that man said, that man walks in integrity and truthfulness. And that man has developed skills needed to regulate himself in those moments. And that's it, brother. Now you may be thinking, what does that look like for me? Frank, this all sounds great, but how do I become that man? You got to get around the right type of people. You got to follow a blueprint. You got to be held accountable to your words. And it's those three pillars that we've built one of the most successful coaching organizations in the world to help men break this addiction. And we're looking for a small group of men that are committed to radical change in their life. If that's you down there in the show notes below, there's going to be a link to an application page. Go through the material, go through the information. And if you're willing to do the work, we will show you the way. So fill the link out, fill the application out, book a call. And I look forward to talking with you to see if we are a right fit for you. But stop trying to quit. It's not what it's about. It's about becoming the man that no longer needs it. God bless you guys. Coach Frank, the real built man. We love you. We'll see you in the next one.